Origins and Naming The history of the Legio V Macedonica begins at a time when the Roman Republic was in a state of change. The legion was formed around 43 BC by the consul Gaius Vibius Pansa, on the orders of Octavian Augustus. It was one of the 28 legions initially raised by Octavian to help him in the civil war that had begun after Caesar's assassination. The original name of the Legio V Macedonica is unknown, but initially it may have been called Five Urbana, or Five Gallica. The surname, Macedonica, was given to the legion after Augustus's reorganization because it was stationed in Macedonia for a significant period of time. Garrison Service Between 30 BC and 6 AD, the Legio V Macedonica was based in its own military camp in the province of Macedonia. The legion served here for 36 years in garrison and was involved in road building and other engineering works, contributing to the development of these Roman territories. From 6 to 62 AD, the Five Macedonica was moved to Escus, an important military base in the province of Moesia, to protect the empire's border along the lower Danube from Dacian attacks. Here, the legion maintained its legionary Fort Wescus as part of the Danubian limes, the legion's presence being indicated by plaques found with its marks. Later, between 62 and 71 AD, the legion served in the eastern provinces of the Roman Empire. Initially, it was transferred to Pontus to fight against the Parthians, where it would remain until 66 AD. After that, five Macedonica was moved to the province of Judea. In 68, 69 AD, the legion was located in the camp of Emmaus near Jerusalem, where several tombstones of Macedonica legionnaires were found. In 71 AD, after the proclamation of Vespasian as emperor in the end of the war, the Five Macedonica was ordered to return to its home base in Oescus Moesia, where it had been for almost 10 years. From 71 to 101 AD, Five Macedonica was stationed in Escus. But after the Dacian invasion of Moesia in AD 86, Emperor Domitian, accompanied by Cornelius Fuscus, prefect of the Praetorian Guard, arrived personally in Moesia and reorganized the province into Moesia Inferior and Moesia Superior. In the course of Domitian's reform, Macedonica was now stationed in Moesia Inferior along with 1st Italica and 11 Claudia, preparing for a punitive campaign of revenge against the Dacians. Between 107 and 274 AD, the legion had permanent bases in the newly conquered province of Dacia. Initially in 107, the legion was transferred to the legionary fortress of Troesmus, near the Danube Delta, to protect Rome's borders from attacks by the Roxolan tribes. Subsequently, between 166 and 274 AD, the legion was stationed at Potaisa in the province of Dacia Porolicensis. While it remained at Potaisa, the five Macedonica maintained order and protected the silver and gold mines from the raids of the Carps, Marcomanni, Sarmatians, and Quads. In 274 AD, Emperor Aurelian decided to leave Dacia, and the Legio V Macedonica returned to its old military base at Escus. In Moesia, units of the V Macedonica guarded the province for centuries to come, until the end of the Western Roman Empire. Then, in 476 AD, it was transformed into a comitatensis unit under the Magister Militum per Orientis, becoming part of the Eastern Roman Empire. The latter years of the legion are mentioned in the Noticia Dignitatum, a document from the late Roman Empire that details the administrative organization of the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire. The last mention of the five Macedonica dates from 636 or 637 AD, when it was already part of the Byzantine army and took part in the fortification of Heliopolis, which would make the Legio V Macedonica the longest lived Roman legion known in history with a lifespan of nearly 680 years, from its foundation in 43 BC to the last mention in 637 AD, an entire history. Campaigns and Victories Initially during garrison service in Moesia, the Legio V Macedonica took part in suppressing the Thracian Rebellion of 45, 46 AD. Afterwards, in 62 AD, the legion was transferred to the east to participate together with three other legions, in the reprisal campaign against the Parthian Empire. At the beginning of the First Jewish War of 66, 73 AD, five Macedonica was still in the east, and together with Legio X Fratensis, was commanded by the future emperor Vespasian. During this period, 
the legionaries of the Macedonica Legion, distinguished themselves in Galilee during the liberation of Sepphoris in 67 AD, and then in the assault on the main sanctuary of the Samaritans on Mount Gerizim. After the death of Emperor Nero, the legion remained in camp at Emmaus, near Jerusalem, during 68, 69 AD. Then in 70 AD, after Vespasian's proclamation as emperor, his son Titus used the five Macedonica to besiege Jerusalem, putting the city under siege for four months. After several battles, the entire city and the second temple were destroyed by fire. At the end of the war, the legion returned to Moesia. In 88 AD, together with other eight legions, five Macedonica took part in a campaign against the Dacians and participated in the Battle of Tape. But in 89 AD, the campaign ended due to the revolt of the governor of Germania Superior, Lucius Antonius Saturninus. The legion continued to fight against the Dacians during the campaign of Emperor Trajan, 101-106 AD. A centurion of Legio V Macedonica, Calventius Viator, rose to prominence as a result of his military service and was eventually promoted to command the emperor's mounted guards, Ecutes Singularis Augusti. During this period, one of the tribunus militum of the legion was the future Roman Emperor Hadrian. During the reign of Emperor Marcus Aurelius, five Macedonica participated in punitive campaigns against the Marcomanni and their allies, the Yazages and Quadi, on the Middle Danube. Early in the reign of Commodus, five Macedonica defeated an army of mercenaries hired by rebellious gold mine workers in the province of Dacia. For this in 185 AD, Emperor Commodus awarded the legion the honorary title Pia Constans, faithful and trustworthy, and Pia Fidelis, faithful and loyal. While stationed in Dacia, the legion fought several wars against the Dacian Carp tribe between 244 and 245 AD, and received the title III Pia Fidelis, thrice faithful and loyal, from Emperor Valerian. Later, Valerian's son Gallienus awarded the legion the title VII Pia Fidelis, for supporting the emperor in his battle against the usurpers Ingenuus and Regalianus in 260 AD. The legion then used for the first time an innovation for those years, mobile cavalry. Later, in 293 AD, Emperor Diocletian definitively separated the cavalry unit founded by Gallienus from the legion and sent it to Mesopotamia, where it fought successfully against the Sassanid Empire, and then to Egypt where it remained until the beginning of the 5th century. In 411 AD, an invading force of Huns overran Oescus and destroyed the military base of the Legio V Macedonian Infantry. Although units of the V Macedonica remained here until 476 AD in Moesia. Enduring Legacy and Emblems The emblem of the Legio V Macedonica was the bull associated by the Romans with strength, endurance, and determination. Like the legion itself, the bull symbolizes an unyielding strength that can weather the storms of battle and emerge victorious. Bulls are known for their ferocity, a quality reflected in the bravery displayed by the soldiers of the five Macedonian legion on the battlefield in numerous battles. Throughout the history of the Roman Empire, countless legions have been raised and disbanded, but only one legion endured the entirety, the Legio V Macedonica. Through battles and victories, the legion maintained its loyalty, earning titles that reflect their unwavering devotion and commitment to defending the interests of the Roman Empire, inheriting another title of the last legion of the Roman Empire known to history.